YouTubers! Mike Martin's here with the Mike Martin Channel. Thanks for joining me and being part of the channel. What a gorgeous day we're having here in beautiful Merritt, British Columbia. Okay, guys, I'm just five clicks out of town in this beautiful mountainous range. I just thought I'd come and read some articles for you guys. And tonight we're going to be talking about passports. Passaporte, please. Or should I? Oh, more wood. Look at that wood shortage. Uh, passaportes, please? What am I talking about? No, I'm not talking about passports. No, I'm not talking about your papers. I'm talking about COVID papers. Who would have thought 100 years ago that you would need proof of inoculation to be able to roam or travel anywhere in the world? They're actually thinking about breaking it down by province. How would they know if you left the province, you could get fined if they catch you? If they pull you over and you have out-of-province or out-of-state tags on you, they may, may find you for not having a passport. Oh, yeah. So here it is, guys. I got the first one here. Planning on traveling this summer? Here's what you need to know. So so free, free, free roam human beings. We used to be free roam. We used to be, um, we used to be like, you know, those chickens that were in those big pens? Roaming around in those really big open roam pens? Huge. We used to be those outside. Now we are more restricted to a closed pen. Yeah, I'm comparing us to chickens, that's what's happening. A uh, one dose summer, toasted by the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, is in the cards for Canada, with more than half Canadian Canadian population having received at least a single shot of the vax. As provinces look ahead, easing the COVID restrictions over the coming months. Summertime travel is possible, but the demand is low, travel experts say. Okay, okay. So they're saying summertime travel is possible, but the demand is low, travel experts say. Hmm. Travel ex. Who are travel experts? Are there, what do they call somebody from Expedia or Hotels.com? Hi, Hotels.com. What do you think people are saying? Like, what do they do? Like, do they go around and ask everybody? Yeah. There is no panic to get anything booked this summer. So don't go ahead and start booking things or getting things ready for your family trip. Uh, Griswold's going away for a week or two or three weeks across America. That's not going to happen in Canada. Don't, don't, don't plan. Because if you remember that uh, Lampoon's family vacation, when they arrived at their location, it was closed for cleaning and maintenance. Okay. A travel advisory is still in effect, with the government urging against non-essential trips. On top of that, the feds have imposed a raft of measures for anyone entering the country. So even though you know what's happening in Texas, we know what's happening in parts of the states, we know what's happening, you know, deaths, um, uh, 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 um, cases don't mean deaths, right? Currently, international flights are only landing at four Canadian airports, Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, and Calgary, cruise, cruise ships, uh, trips to the country are banned. So you could kiss Vancouver goodbye. Because Vancouver is heavily, 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 um, very important port to stop. Domestic restrictions. Provincial health authorities have advised against non-essential travel amid the pandemic and imposed their own set of restrictions. When are they going to stop calling it a pandemic? Because if you look up what a pandemic means, it means it's actually, it's not a 21, it's actually a 26% death rate. 26% death. So cases don't mean deaths, right? Oh, there's more wood right here. Look at this wood shortage, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that wood. That's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood. But they, yeah, we're having a huge shortage of wood, right? Okay. Uh, vacation passports. This is from eight minutes ago, and I'm, you're getting it right now. V uh, uh, vaccination passports available to Manitobans after second shot. There it is right there. This is, was the CBC reporting this? Basically stating that uh, after your second shot, you will be allowed to get a vaccination passport. Manitoba. Oh. More wood. Manitoba is introducing an immunization passport. Premier Bi Brian Pallister announced a Thursday morning. That means fully immunized Manitobans will be able to travel without having to self-isolate. 
for two weeks upon return with a new secure immunization card that will be able to available to people two weeks after they have received both doses of the COVID vaccine. So our tax dollars is actually going to now track this and follow this. So could we just, if we don't want to, could we just quarantine for 15 days? I don't mind after coming home from a vacation, taking another vacation. Many Manitobans have rolled up their sleeves over the past few months and done their part in protecting our province. And I want to, con and I want to con commend them for doing so, said Palsner in the biggest uh, incent uh, incentives to getting the vaccine. So the biggest incentives, so they're giving you incentives, they're giving your freedoms back if you go ahead and take this shot, right? As, gov as government, we are doing everything we can to bolster the vaccine availability and accessibility and equipping Manitobans with the information and support they need to make the right decision to protect themselves their loved ones and their community so basically they keep playing this card the media is playing this card governments playing this card left-wing weirdo ideologists playing this card that i want to protect my family i want to protect my friends around me from from something where the you know we're not going to get into rates or whatnot but it's it's shutting down it's destroying business small businesses it's demoralizing families it's plain as day we can see what's happening and it's been happening forever we started now now that facebook allowed us facebook has allowed us to say that the fact that that the that the uh that the um the virus is man made now the facebook says you're allowed to say so that the vaccine was man made why don't we go into war with whoever made it and actually distributed it to the world? It makes no sense. Instead of focusing how to inoculate people, why don't we just start sending them to war? I mean, it doesn't make no sense. Like, this is, this is an act of war. This is high treason against the, against the world. To, have, to be eligible to receive an immunization, Manitobans must have a Manitoba health card, have received two doses of vaccine, uh, wait 14 days after getting the second dose of vaccine so it could take full effect. Two weeks after receiving the second dose of COVID-19, Manitobans apply for their card using the new online portal. See, they're using tax dollars to fund this. And what are they funding? What are they realistically funding? Again, cases don't mean deaths, right? They never show the survival rate anymore everywhere. They keep it blank. 80% of Canadians support COVID-19. It's written right here. I mean, I'm not making this stuff up. 80% of Canadians support COVID-19 vaccine passports for travel, says Poll. This stuff is depressing. 80% of Canadians. Okay, let's... More wood. More wood. Let's say 80% of Canadians. Let's say Let's say this is true. I don't believe this, but let's say this is true. Did, did you know that as of 2018, I think it's 68% of Canadians can't afford to travel outside of Canada? So let's say this is true. I think the 80% of the people that are voting are, are majority of the people that don't travel out of the country anyway. If this was true. I don't believe this is true because I don't think 80% of Canadians uh, uh, agree for this, agree with this. It also suggests Canadians are largely open to the idea of vaccine passports but support them more for travel than everyday activities like dining out or going to a concert or shopping mall. Ledger surveyed 1,529 Canadians online for the poll between May 7th and May 9th. It cannot be assigned a margin of error because the internet-based polls are not considered random samples. More than 8 out of 10 Canadians responded that they are either vaccinated or already planned to be when it is their turn. Almost identical to the number who said that in a similar poll taken a month ago. So, I'm sick and tired of this. I'm sick and tired of people are getting really... There's a lot of people. There's lots. And people are getting sick and tired of what, what they're doing and what they're how they're planning this for us, how they're helping us, how they're saving civilization, how they're, you know... We discussed the vaccine on Mike of the Night. We discussed 
what what the availability of 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 of, of we, we, we freely discuss what's available in it sorry was what i meant to say and when you read what the ingredients are in it it kind of you start shaking your head and wondering why would anyone want to take this right so watch last week's, watch last Saturday's Mike in the Night. It's actually really good. We got on some pretty good callers. We got our scientist, resident scientist call in. He called in with going over what what's in, more wood, what, what's in uh, some of this stuff and what it does to us and what could, does it potentially cure, does it help? Watch, la watch last Saturday's Mike of the Night. Leave it on the background if you're working. You don't have to watch it, just listen to it. Listen to what's going on, listen to what people are saying. Anyways, guys, I'm going to head back to the shop. I had to bring the small car today. I'm getting the Corvette fixed. Uh, the Corvette, well, I'm fixing it myself. I'm doing some, um, changing the, the headlight lenses. They're all rotten. Uh, doing a few things. Took off the bumper. Cleaning up a few broken little bits and pieces on the car. And getting it ready. Uh, hopefully, I'll get it on the road by tomorrow or the day after. And, uh... And be cruising again. The weather's nice, so I want to take off the top and enjoy my damn freedom while I have it. Anyways, Mike Martin's here. Morning coffee with Mike. I have spoken. <laughs>